Now we want to head out to, out to Christine, who's becoming a gingerbread housemaking pro, and you can become one too. She's at Gingerbread Station in Crown Center. Christine, earlier you showed us how to make your house sturdy. How are you feeling? You did have some raw egg. We, I'm feeling great. I'm okay. still alive. That's the good news. I want to show you our gingerbread house. 15 is your favorite number. 15 minutes after you put the walls up, before you put the roof. 15, another 15 minutes before you can even start decorating. Russell is still with us. Now, when it comes to decorating, mm -hmm. there are things you use, there are things you don't use. What do you stay away from? The biggest thing that I like us to stay away from are, sadly enough, Twizzlers. Mm. It's that waxy coating that's on a Twizzler that I, it, the icing does not like to stay attached to it and it just falls right off. You were saying things like gummy worms, gummy bears, those things shrivel up and just disaster. We have some gummy worms in the village for the first time, so it, it's it's like a test run. We're waiting to see how they how they fare for the whole season. But if you're scared, maybe don't go that route. Maybe don't go that route. Stick All with right. your traditional hard candies, candy canes. Um, we've got some gummy candies. We've got some traditional... Do you remember the like from Grandma's candy oh, dish? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that mine were always stale. We've got some ribbon candy in the village this Ooh, year. Yeah, very high class. Uh, okay, so we're gonna decorate the top here, right? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna pipe some icing across the roof, and you're going to be. And our, you suggested these, right? Yeah, let's put those little candy cane balls. Flat or up high? Whichever way you want to do it. Let's That's the say, fun part. Let's say flat. And while we're doing this, you mentioned candy cane earlier. We mentioned the fact that you use some glue. Candy cane, secret tip you have, glue them, otherwise they'll fall off? I, we do use hot glue on the candy canes because of their weight. Uh -huh. They're heavier. The other thing that we always do is we leave the wrapper on the candy cane. Uh, the wrapper gives the icing or the hot glue something else to grab onto, and it keeps them in place a little bit better. Great, 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 great tips. Again, it just kind of depends on if you're going to eat it or you're not, right? Exactly. And you know what? If the wrapper's still on and you hot glue it, you could still probably eat that candy cane. Listen, who doesn't have candy canes stored away in their pantries and you still eat them? Exactly. Great tips. Use that icing to cover up any of that glue that you use. Mm -hmm. Who really eats their gingerbread houses anyway? Okay, probably some of them. But great tips either way if you eat them or you don't even more coming up, so stay with us.